Hi guys, uh, in this video we are going to see some more stuff in Interactive Grid. Uh, so today, uh, in this video we are going to see uh, how to create custom button in, in Interactive Grid and how we can use the custom button instead of using uh, default buttons, you know, of Interactive Grid. So if you remember the, the video what we have created here, uh, when we made this uh, Interactive Grid as editable field, uh, we can see that we found we got these three buttons edit save and add row so instead of using these uh, default buttons uh, today's uh, video is about creating custom button and do the same stuff what we are trying to do with the help of these custom, uh, default buttons right so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new page so click on this thing and uh, add a page over here so I will select interactive grid from this place, uh, select interactive grid, give a name to this page as a uh, custom button for IG, IG stands for interactive grid. So this is interactive grid. I'm going to make a uh, select a table for interactive grid, select a table. And from here also we can, you know, uh, make editable interactive grid but let it be default one the save uh, the uneditable thing so that is fine and everything is fine let's click on create page the page got created now let me just uh, run the page and here here you will see that we have a custom button for ig and this is the region okay so when we make uh, you know this field editable let me make this field editable first so when we make this field editable when we enable it we get three uh, buttons add add row save uh, and edit let me just run and refresh uh, so here we have you can see we have this edit button save button and add add row button but i don't want to use any of these buttons so let me do one thing i'll just go to region or let uh, we'll go to attribute and from here We'll just disable this toolbar, save and uh, refresh. Here you can see we have this region, uh, but we don't have any button to save or you know delete or update the data. What we can do, uh, I will create a button from here. I'll just select a button and I will say add row and uh, uh, we'll make this button as text with icon. I will select an icon from this list as plus. So let me choose this icon, save it and uh, run the page. When we run the page, you can see this add row button got created. I will pull this button from left to right. So what I can do, I will make a slot as edit. Just save this and run this. You'll find the, you'll find the button got aligned over here to the right side so similarly i'll create some more buttons as maybe um, save and here uh, the appearance is going to be text with icon here i'll select the icon and the icon is going to be maybe save this is good i'll create another button and this is going to be delete button right uh, this is also text with icon I will make this button as uh, I mean uh, the region uh, the icon is going to be trash just save it and see how it looks over here so we have add row save and delete let's have one more button as edit button okay because we have we normally used to have edit button uh, in all the interactive grids so I'll keep this edit button on the top at first place and just make this edit and click on text with icon oh the icon is i'm going to put this icon maybe edit save and refresh now you see we have these four buttons and i'm going to currently uh, the behavior of these buttons are submit page so what i'm going to do i'm going to make the behavior uh, the same as the custom uh, the default buttons for that what you have to do just give a static id to the region first so this is the region and i'm going to give a static id to this region as uh, my report 
right save this thing and we have to create dynamic action for each of the buttons okay so i'm going to create a dynamic action for edit button first right click on it right click on it and click on create dynamic action give a name to this dynamic action as click of edit okay here in the true sec uh, true action what i'm going to do i'm going to select uh, execute uh, execute javascript code okay so when i select execute javascript code i'll have to write a javascript code to execute that part and we are doing it for edit button so uh, there is this piece of code in javascript which will help us to edit the you know record so just uh, i'll give the code in my blog and i'll give you the link in the description box don't worry about the code code so this is about delete i'll create a dynamic action for add row give a name to this uh, dynamic action and here the true action is going to be execute javascript code and uh, this is for add row so we have this piece of code in javascript okay selection add row click on ok i'm going to create another dynamic action as on save button so create a dynamic action give a name to this dynamic action as click off save and uh, the true action is going to be execute javascript code and over here uh, this is for save button right so i'm going to give you the piece of code over here which is this one right uh, so here you have to keep in mind that this is nothing but your static id static id of the region okay so whatever static id you are giving you have to pass that value over here the rest of the things is i mean is fine uh, you, this is nothing but the save and for edit you'll get the edit over here for other actions you'll get those uh, you know particular piece of code but this is nothing but your static id of the region okay so that's about save now for delete here also i'll create a dynamic action for delete give a name to this uh, dynamic action and the true action is going to be execute javascript code and the javascript code is nothing but this one over here right so once everything is done click on ok save and once we the save is done just refresh this page page got refreshed now if i click on add row button you see the the row is the row got added i'll give a you know um, value to this row and uh, the email address is going to be let's say sort of at the rate uh, gmail.com right and i'll just try uh, using this save button when i'll click on save You'll see it got saved and i got the message over here if i let's say try to update any you know other record i will click on uh, update the data and click on save the data got saved if you will you know refresh the page you'll find that data got saved right and maybe the newly created record is will be somewhere down so that is fine and uh, the next thing is that when you click on this edit button you will be able to edit the record yeah and uh, so let me search for the one what i have created or let's do one thing i'll create one more record as uh, i'll click on add row and here here i'll give a name as mark and give a give an email address as mark at the rate gmail.com and we'll just save it it got uh, we got some unique constraint error it means we already have uh, the email address with this name that is fine so i'll give mark1 as gmail.com save it got saved now let's see if i want to delete this record just select the record and click on delete button it got deleted click on save and it got saved so this is how you can perform the same operation by adding your custom button let me know if you have any question or any doubt. That's it for this video. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks.